Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be sharing an interesting an interesting topic of discussion. And that's the whole Shea Moisture debacle. If a lot of you guys don't know or you guys are not familiar, Shea Moisture a few days ago put an ad out. Or I'll say they put a video out talking about hair hate. And they featured, I want to say two white women and a biracial, or she could have been Spanish, women talking about their natural hair struggles. Now, excuse me, because I was extremely offended by this video. And the reasons why I felt some type of way, because one, there was no kinky textured woman in that video, nor was there a deeper toned complexion woman in that video sharing about her natural hair struggles. Now, granted, I understand that they're trying to reach out to a new market, and I un understand that they want to branch out. And, you know, they want to get everybody coins, okay? Don't get me wrong. I can understand that. But what you won't do, you ain't going to forget all them black women that helped you along thus far. And all of a sudden, you all gentrified, okay? Or gentric, whatever that freaking word is. Y'all all bougie now, and y'all don't forget how y'all got there. So they decided to take the video down, and they put up an apology. And I'm going to read the apology to you guys. All right, so what it said was, wow, okay. So guys, listen, we really effed up this one. Well, we really effed this one up. Duh. Please know that our intention was not or would never be to disrespect our community and such, and as such, we are pulling this piece immediately because it does not represent what we intended to communicate. You guys know that we have stood for inclusion and beauty and have also fought for our community and given them credit for not just building our business but for shifting the beauty landscape. So the feedback we are seeing here brings to light a very important point. While this campaign included several different videos showing different ethnicities and hair types to demonstrate the br the breath, br whatever that freaking word is, and depth of each individual's hair journey, we must absolutely ensure mo moving forward that our community is well represented in each one so that the women who have led this movement never feel that their hair journey is minimized in any way. We are keenly aware of the journey that women of color face. And our work will continue to serve as an inspiration for work like the Perception Institutions Institute's Good Hair Study slash Implicit Association Test that suggests that a majority of people, regardless of race and gender, hold some bias towards women of color based on their texture of natural hair. So, you are right. We are different, and we should know better. Thank you all as well for the honest and candid feedback. We hear you, we are listening, we appreciate you, we count on you, and we are always here for you. Thank you, Shea fam, for being there for us, even when we make mistakes. Here's to growing and building together. Now, here's my issue. You only felt some type of way because of the backlash you were getting. Because, truth be told, if no one said nothing, you guys would have thought this was okay. Like, I want to know who's a part of your marketing um, strategy or who was the last one to approve this video. Because, y'all didn't just drop the ball. Y'all, y'all, y'all really effed up. Y'all did. And I know a lot of people say, um, are saying that they're going to boycott the brand or they're going to be throwing away their products. And I'm just going to keep it real with y'all. I got a whole bunch of Shea Moisture products. They did not send it to me. I didn't get it for free. I didn't get it for gratis. I spent my coins. So, hell no, nah, I ain't throwing them in the garbage. I'm going to use them up and when they're done, I probably ain't going to buy no more products. Because this is not the first time that they've done something like that. I just think that this is the first time that everybody probably probably noticing this about them. And like I said, I understand that you are trying to reach out to other um, ethnicities and... I get that, but there's a graceful way of doing it. Now, y'all know I love me some of the main choice, and I'm going to tell you exactly why I love the main choice. They never, ever, ever prom promote texturism or colorism. They have been known for the black hair community, and recently they have been branching out. So if you look on their page, you're going to see white women, you're going to see Spanish women, you're going to see biracial women, you're going to see little white babies, black babies, mixed babies, you're going to see it all. But there's a way that you go about doing it. You don't forget who helped you along the way. 
You don't you don't forget that. You don't minimize, you don't downplay because I understand that white women might have some hair struggles. I can't relate to your hair struggles because I don't got that kind of hair. But I know for a fact, y'all just jump in the shower, y'all wet your hair, y'all throw up in a ponytail, y'all go. Y'all throw some conditioner, y'all go. Let my black behind try to go throw some conditioner up in this thing right here and say I'm putting it in a ponytail and I'm going about my day. Because nine times out of ten, when I come home, it's going to be in a freaking ball, fuzzy. It's going to have knots everywhere. It's going to have tangles everywhere. We don't have the same struggle. You might be having some hair struggles, but your hair struggles don't compare to a black girl. Your hair don't compare to the struggle of a very kinky, textured woman of color. It just doesn't compare. So, Shea Moisture, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to say I'm totally turning my, my eye or turning my back towards them because of this mishap. But I'm saying I'm very... I try to be very aware of how I spend my money and if I feel like I'm not very well represented in a company or if I feel like that company is not really for us meaning us then you ain't getting my money cuz I don't work too hard for this money so yeah another thing how many white hair companies or white owned hair companies do you see reaching out to black girls to do an ad I'll wait while y'all try to explain this one you don't see them reaching out towards black women to put in their ad why because a lot of their products don't work for us so when we have a line that actually works for us and it works with our hair regardless of the fact that I can't stand a curl smoothie curl moisture I don't I don't know what the hell it is I couldn't stand that because it didn't work for my hair texture but I found out from a lot of people that recently they've been changing the formula and now it's not even the same anymore but I just want you guys to sit and think about this how many companies that are not for us reach out to us to represent us and their white brand Let's just be real, because a lot of times, let's say for instance, um, Pantene, and I see a lot of a lot more companies. They're putting sulfate free, paraben free. Why? Because they're trying to get that black coins. Because black women spend a lot of money when it comes to our hair. Like I don't know the exact figures, but we spend a lot of freaking money when it comes to our hair. So ding, ding, ding. The white companies are, you know what? We need to branch out to the black folks because we're trying to get that black folk coin. Okay, let's see if we could put some sulfate free and paraben free and let's see if we can get them to hop on our ship and try our products. That's just all it is. That's just their way of making money. So for Shea Moisture to make this ad and to to poorly represent the black community after the black community and I'm going to keep preaching this to the high heavens. We've held them along thus far we've kept your company afloat let's just be real because if black women was to stop buying your products do you think those white girls are going to help you out and make you reach the the high heavens or uh, make you reach as far as you think you're going to become let all of us black women pull back and stop supporting shea moisture let's really see if the white community or the hispanic well hispanic y'all black too so don't try to downplay it y'all black okay y'all minorities just like us so if the minorities pull back from supporting their brand and let the white people step in do y'all think that y'all gonna last let's just keep it real feel free to leave me some suggestions on what you guys think about this whole video in my comment section below if you guys have not seen the video you can go on my youtube not my youtube you can go on my instagram channel trini vixen 1127 and i have reposted the video so you guys can look on there and see it and let me know your thoughts please let me know your thoughts so guys that was it for the video thank you guys so much for watching as always stay blessed stay prayed up and i'll see you guys in the next video and don't forget to comment rate and subscribe bye guys